All right, so today's the day we get these solar panels, solar setup all situated. What I did right here was I cut a couple pieces of three quarter plywood and I'm gonna be installing it right here on the wall so we can hang this grow watt inverter and then I'll go over all the parts that we have and the plans on what I'm going to be doing and how the setup should be set up. All right, so that's more or less where the unit is going to stay. Now, I need to figure out how to get these batteries stacked right here. So I'm gonna build a box of some sort to get these batteries to slide in on their face, like on the white sticker there. It's gonna be face down and just in there sideways. I think that's probably the best bet to get this uh, whole setup as tight as I can to the wall, and then that way I can add more batteries, stacking them up to the bottom of this unit. All right, so we got the box built for the Battleborn batteries. Now I have these two uh, bus bars, I guess they're called. We have a positive and a negative, and my theory behind these are mount them like right here and same thing on the other side right here because then that way if I get more batteries at some other point I could build another box and just place it right up top and wire them down to tie into the bus bar with these batteries so I think that'll be awesome because I need to run these in series to make 24 volts versus running them in parallel and keeping it 12 volts so I'll run these together to the bus bar then the next stack I could run together to the bus bar so that way both sets of batteries would be feeding this bus bar with 24 volts and it would stay a 24 volt system in theory so that's what i'm going to do screw these to the side here and then obviously you guys saw me hang that so that's all done what i want to talk about right now is these solar panels so i'm going to be taking this unistrut i actually had left over from a job that we did probably about a year and a half ago at this point. So we're gonna take a section of Unistrut on the top and the bottom of each section of solar panels. I have four here of this style, and I actually just purchased two more of this style this weekend, so I can run two sections of four on the Unistrut, bolt them down to it, that way I can pick up all four at the same time, and I can actually run these in series, run these in series, and then tie them in parallel to go back to the trailer. So let me get this all cut up, set up, and we will be back in a second. All right, so I got Unistrut in here. What I'm gonna do is bend this down, stand it up, and see how she looks and what the angle's at. All right, so I voted against having it in two rows. I'm gonna have it in one long row, but I'm still gonna be doing in series and then in parallel. So what I'm gonna do is connect all four of these panels right here to each other and then all four of these panels right here to each other. And then we're going to basically wire them together and run a wire straight back to the trailer and I'll explain it all in just a second. All right, crypto mining trailer is over there. This is the next day. Looking about 11 a.m. in the morning, these solar panels need to be shifted down to the left. I actually have them hooked up a little too far to the right as you can see this guy's right here in a lot of shade and if you guys didn't see Yankee's video where he showed his solar setup I'm gonna replicate exactly what he did actually this is just gonna be a temporary setup to see how this works so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna drag it right to the edge of my grass line over here and same thing with this one I'm gonna drag it right to the edge of the grass line like right here next to that one so let me get this all situated and then we're gonna get inside and we're gonna start wiring the grow watt but first, I want to use my voltage meter and I want to test the voltage and the amperage on these two lines. All right, so first things first, I'm going to take my multimeter and as you can see, I have the red connector on the VQ there and the uh, negative black in the only spot that is for black. It says COM. Now, we're going to be testing the voltage here first. I'm going to turn this to volts and then we're going to hit the select button to get to DC. So you see the line with the brake line underneath, it's like three dots, that is DC voltage. So now we're gonna test this and see what we come up with. As you can see, we come up with 83 volts. Now what we're gonna do to test the amperage, we're gonna take this red connector and we're gonna move it to the 10 amp side and then we're gonna turn it to the 10 amp spot and we're gonna hit the select button again until we see the DC little uh, line with the dots there. So now this is where you need a solid connection or you guys may get a spark. So you gotta be careful here. 
Then I'm gonna touch the metal inside here and you can see we're at 8.85 amps. So what we're gonna do is wire this up and I uh, will go over everything individually once we are all set. All right, so right here, what you wanna do is we need to connect the battery bank before you connect any type of solar, but prior to us just throwing the negative on, you wanna get some sort of resistor which will pre-charge the capacitors inside the inverter so you don't blow anything up and you won't get any sparks. That's kind of the idea behind it. So I'm going to take this guy and you basically wrap one around one side and then you put the other one to the bus bar itself. So real quick, when you have the resistor tied in to the negative cable and to the bus bar, you wanna turn this on so it actually does pre-charge the capacitors. So here goes nothing. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Now we're gonna disconnect this resistor. First, we gotta shut this off, disconnect this, land it on the bus bar, and then we'll turn it back on. And we'll turn this. No sparks. I didn't hear anything zap. All right, so batteries are on. I'm gonna try to turn this on just to see what happens. All right, so now that we're all good here, you guys can see this is all connected. I put a screw through the floor right there, and it actually comes out in a perfect spot underneath, so I'm gonna drill this hole straight down to get the solar wires up. So here's the unit all wired up. I still need to neaten up all of these cables, and I need to put a breaker on these solar panels right about here or so. Now, what we have is a set of batteries in series. We have a cable going from the positive to the negative, the negative to the bus bar on the right, positive through a fuse, out of the back side of the fuse, into the bus bar, and then out of the bus bar, obviously, up to the unit on both sides. But before it goes to the unit with the positive, I have an on-off switch right here. All right, so today what I'm gonna focus on, before I actually turn this grow watt unit on, I'm going to be wiring the 120 volt power from right here out down and I'm going to put a plug over here on the wall and we're going to actually put a power strip here as well for the CPU mining rigs that we're going to be putting on this wall. So first thing we need to do is take this meter box right here and we need to replace the outlet. So the outlet right now is 240 volts for a 30 amp PDU. This is 20 amps for a 125 volt power strip which this happens to be. This is made by APC. It's a perfect size for this trailer, literally floor to ceiling, amazing. All right, let me swap this out. We'll get this hung, we'll get this wired, we'll be good to go. All right, we're all wired up. She's ready to be turned on. Growatt has the 120 volt outlet right here plugged into the 120 volt strip. This is, I don't even know how many banks this has, 24, I guess. Obviously, I'm not gonna populate all of these but we actually are gonna be putting a couple CPU mining rigs on the wall here. I just wanna make sure this lights up because I've never plugged that in before. I wanna make sure that works, and most importantly, we wanna make sure this works. So, I guess let's uh, see what happens. Switch the grow watt on, turn the battery on. Let's see. We are live. Battery 26.7 volts. I don't know how to make that work. Oh, there it is. Just came on. Apparently, it takes a little bit to kick on, but you can see it's showing 120 volts. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. And look at that. She's lighting up. There's nothing on the screen, but she works. All right, so now that this is all up and running, again, this is solely off grid. We have solar panels over there that are in the sun and have been since 8 this morning but I am going to be redesigning this today so let's uh, let's do it all right so that's basically how you build it four pieces of unistrut across and we have one galvanized fence post straight across the middle with this uh, circle by square with a couple u-bolts to hold it together now I need to go dig a post and get this thing set 
All right, so it's a little difficult to see, but the cement is pretty much dry. This pole is nice and straight. Now you guys saw me cut some holes in the bottom of the bucket that I actually put in the hole and filled with cement. That was to allow any excess water to filter through that concrete. As you guys can see, I mixed it in the hole. Not a huge deal. Now I'm just gonna fill this thing up and uh, should be good to go. As you can see, I did this one yesterday and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's not going anywhere. Check it out. That's all she wrote. So we got both panel setups all good tied together I got it zip tied down the pole show you guys real quick so what I had to do was tie a 10 footer across from panel to panel which is not ideal I'm gonna run a long run down this pole and over when I actually did that I got to like this tree and then I needed like another 20 footer extension to make it work properly but this will do for now CPU mining rig is up and running, mining Raptorium, obviously not something I really care about right now, Raptorium project is just in the toilet at this moment, but regardless, I'm testing this out, I wanted to make sure that this would actually start mining, I'm going to see how long I can actually mine for, and I'll do a couple tests with this whole solar setup, but this right here I had wired into the grow watt, but this PDU that was plugged in right here so it needs some sort of firmware update i had to order a couple cables to go into here and into my pc to be able to update it it's not going to come in for a couple days so whatever what i did was just wired a another wire as you can see i pulled out that drock meter and i put it over here to a normal female extension end and obviously the wattage meter is plugged in you can see it's pulling 120 watts it was at 100 a few minutes ago so I need to uh, get in the BIOS of this thing and mess with it some more. I ended up pulling this battery so it kind of screwed up the settings I had. But either way guys, we have the batteries hooked up, solar charge controller is working mint. Kind of tough to see with the camera, it's flickering, but you can see the solar panels are communicating with the batteries and everything else. So we're good to go. This thing's working. I'm pumped. I'm exhausted. We will actually do some more tests at a later date. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helps you guys in the future if you want to do some sort of setup like this. I can do a full walkthrough of this grow watt and how it's wired in a quick simple video. If you guys would like, let me know down in the comments below. But guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Peace out.